Good morning, Bethany family. We are excited to sing together again on this Sunday morning. And I hope that as we sing today, again, we want to encourage you to sing out as you gather with your family, your loved ones. And uh, as we sing these songs, we'd also be meditating on the truths of the hymn text that we're singing. I also hope that as uh, we sing through these today, that you'll be able to rehearse them throughout the week as well, and that these truths will, uh, will remind ourselves of these truths throughout the week as God brings them to mind. We're going to start this morning with uh, our first hymn, Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise. attention to this third stanza, and I think we'll have it on the screen there for you as well. To all life thou givest, to both great and small, in all life thou livest, the true life of all. Then this next phrase reminds us of our futility, but then also reminds us how our God is eternal. He does not change. We blossom and flourish as leaves on the tree and wither and perish, but not change at thee. And we are living in a very uncertain, unusual time here these next few weeks. And uh, it's easy to have our minds and our hearts filled with some turmoil, uncertainty. But what a wonderful truth to be reminded of here that God doesn't change. And he is still in full control. He is a sovereign God uh, who is still on the throne. And no matter what happens, our God does not change. And so we can trust him. We can praise him for that. Let's sing together this third stanza to all life thou givest to both great and small. a strong and a perfect plea. Aren't you thankful that we have a God that we can communicate with directly? He is a great high priest whose name is love, and he lives and he pleads for me. What a wonderful thought that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let's praise him and thank him for the fact that we have access to him. Satan tempts me to despair. 
see him there, who made an end of all my sin. Because the sinless Savior died, my sinful soul is counted free. For God the just is satisfied to look on him and pardon me, to look on him and Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Uh, the chorus says, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. And I think back to Pastor's message last Sunday morning when he was talking about Job from Job chapter 1, how all these things were happening to Job. But what was his response at the end of that chapter? It was to bow down and worship. And that worship equals submission to God. And so we can have assurance of who we are in Christ. And we really truly can praise him all the day long and worship him no matter what he allows into our life and submit ourselves to him. That's part of our worship. So let's sing about that assurance that we have in him and praise God for what he has done for us. Deuteronomy 33, 27 says, The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. This song uh, is a, another great text, a uh, song of comfort, a song of God's guidance, of his care for us. And the fact that we are safe, we are secure from all alarms, and so we can lean on Jesus. The third stanza specifically is a great comfort as well. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? You know, there are a lot of people that, uh, for lack of a better term, are leaning on many other things for their security. And in times like this, some of those securities are taken away. 
financial securities, uh, jobs, communication, being around those that we enjoy to be around. Um, But as believers, we can transfer that trust in those things that may be earthly and transfer those things right to our God and lean on Him alone. And that's where we find our safety and our security. So let's sing through all three stanzas, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. God's grace that allows us to lean on him, to trust in him, to find our security in him. And it's because of uh, his grace that he's enabled us to trust him, to rest in him. Uh, Even when you think of the gospel, God's grace alone is what saves us. And uh, love this new setting uh, to the familiar text, grace is a charming sound. And uh, the end of that first stanza talks about how all the earth shall hear of God's grace. And we can be, uh, even during this time, ones who are shouting and singing of God's grace uh, in difficult times. And so are you able to live out your faith even when it's difficult, even when it's different than our normal? And uh, let's pray that God would allow us to do that, to be a shining light of his grace as he continues to work in us And as we're able to communicate with those who are searching for ultimately the only thing that's going to bring them peace and comfort, and that is God and his grace. Grace is a charming sound. Sorrows 
Jesus died for me. 